So we've got another update, uh, our weekly update, and we've got a tip coming as well. Uh, getting towards the end of our winter tips. Uh, had a little bit of an accident this week, which uh, if you didn't see it on Friday, you'll see, uh, what, ca watch our caravan mash up one, you'll see. Our fencing is coming along, so um, I need to get this finished now. Does it cost you some blood, sweat and tears? Blood, sweat and tears, this is, blood, sweat and tears, but um, we're le leaving obviously all the security posts in at the minute until everything is swapped over all onto the new section. Um, so it's getting there, we've got a nice area that's going to just make a big difference to the front section basically, it's just going to give us a lot more usable space and get a few more vans in there, so hopefully between now and January we can get that area all going. Um, got a nice swift, um, the Ace Prestige, so that's based on a Sprite Major 6, we'll have a quick look in that one at the minute. Uh, we've got a part exchange that's come in. And now obviously the weather is, is changing. Uh, we've got the leaves everywhere, the leaves are coming off the trees, the weather's getting colder. So if you've not watched our other tips videos about draining down, getting the caravan ready, getting your water system, um, doing your toilet system, your battery, etc., have a look through our other Sunday videos and that should sort of cover pretty much everything, um, getting the caravan ready. This one has just come in part exchange, so a nice little two berth. This makes into double bed at the front, or you can use that as two single beds. They are big enough to use as two single beds. They are quite long, aren't they, those? It's had a microwave fitted. That wasn't... Uh, I'm pretty sure that wasn't originally there. But it might have been. I can't remember. I can't remember whether these had the microwaves on it. Good washroom, good bathroom at the back. Um, so this is just about to come on sale nice tidy van it's got a couple of dents on the outside and just needs a bit of a clean up on the outside but um How old is it? a 2009 that one yeah. it's got a little motor mover as well so yeah that should make into a nice little van so this week um we're looking at caravan covers now i'm not a huge huge fan of caravan covers um, and there's lots of different caravan covers out there and it's a bit of a minefield sort of knowing if you're thinking about going for a caravan cover, um, which one to actually go for. Now, if you're sort of set and you're thinking, yeah, I definitely want a complete full cover, spend the money on it. Um, I think there's, it's ProTech um, that do properly made to measure covers that are proper, breathable. Um, now, unless you're going to sort of spend the money and have a proper thing, I wouldn't bother. The cheap sort of four-layer breathable ones are just going to possibly cause you more problems than, than not. And even with the more expensive covers, you're going to want to put your windows onto the second latches. So, what I mean by that is on the, the actual window catches the cells you've sort of got this first latch that the window latches onto and then we've got this middle latch there so the second latch now that's like a breather catch so that all it's not going to let water in with the cover on um, and it's just going to let the the actual window let air into the caravan and what i do is put probably four or five couple at the front couple towards the back on that breather catch and that will just allow a little bit more air to flow through the caravan. The problem that the, the covers cost, oh, what they what they end up doing is they will make the caravan sweat slightly and so condensation will be created more so inside of the caravan. So moisture traps, we did moisture traps last week, a lot of people sort of don't like the moisture traps, some do. If you're having a cover on, I'd say definitely put moisture traps in there as well, just to draw all of that extra uh, moisture that the cover is going to create in, into those instead of into the actual caravan itself. And we found um, some big bags of that stuff on uh, Amazon that was really cheap. Didn't we? Yeah, so carbonated was. soda. Soda, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look. If somebody knows, somebody put it in the last one, uh, what the actual name was, uh, we'll have a look at it in the, on the bag as well. Now there is one way um, that you can get rid of all of that problem and that's just going for a roof cover. 
So the roof cover will sort of cover just the roof and sort of so far down uh, over your awning rails, over the, the front section, over the back section. Now that is the cover that I, I actually really like. Uh, and if I was gonna fit a cover myself, that's what I'd fit is just a roof cover. It, it protects all the roof, keeps all that clean, because at the end of the day, when they're washing off, the worst bit to actually wash off is the, is the roof. Front, back and sides isn't too bad, um, but your roof is a bit of a nightmare. We can have a look in that one while they're giving it a quick wash off, because it's a nice van. Just gonna jump in. Uh, we've got another one that's coming part exchange over there as well. So, this has got the funky, the funky blue lights in, uh, which is a little bit different. But your roof cover uh, is gonna stop all of that issues. It's gonna let the caravan breathe and act as though it will naturally do. Um, but it's just gonna protect all the roof and stop you having all the hassle, especially if you buy trees. Um, if, if there's anything that's gonna create more muck than normal on the roof, that roof cover is just gonna keep it nice and clean. The other thing that you can do as well before putting the caravan away, if you sort of say, no, I don't want to put a cover on at all. Um, Fenwick's do an overwinter product, which is a, a cleaner that you can sort of wash the caravan with. So like they are at the minute, you can wash all of the, the caravan front, back sides, roof, everything. And it puts a protective layer on there. Um, we'll put a link into the in the description of that product and basically then when you come to it next year It's just wash it off as normal and all the green all the crap everything that's sort of gone onto the caravan It will just wash off uh, as a complete layer It comes off really really easily and that's a really good product to to use over the winter Protect the the bodywork and what have you and it'll just make cleaning it next year a lot easier if you don't want to go for a cover at all um, but my tip is as I say, a, just, just a roof cover. If you're thinking about going for a cover and you don't want to go for the, the full, full cover, then just, just a roof cover is what I would tend to choose. Hopefully you've liked our little uh, update and tip this week. Um, we've got one more van that I'll show you quickly. Luna Arriva. Uh, so this is a little two berth. Don't see many of the end kitchens anymore. Yes, yeah, and that was about 14 years ago, did we say, this morning that you yeah. bought that? Uh, my Facebook memories. So, uh, yeah, that's... Luna. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this makes into a two single beds or makes into the double bed. Now, the Lunar Reavers are a little bit shorter as well, so a little bit narrower. So I think they're just under seven feet, whereas normally sort of seven foot six. So if you're after a narrower caravan um, and slightly smaller, these are a cracking, cracking little van. Are they a bit lighter too? Or yeah, that? so it's it's going to be shorter. Narrower. Narrower. Shorter. No, because it's obviously, shorter yeah, narrower. shorter, narrower and lighter. Let's just have a quick look at what the actual details are. And I can't find them. There they are. So, yeah, 980 kilograms absolute maximum. Oh, wow. So, yeah, really, light. really lightweight little van. Um, the Ace Prestige, the big twin axle that we were in before, I think that's going to go on at about 15995 I've got to price up the little, um, the little bailey that we went in first, we'll have a look at that. But that's pretty much this week's update um, and tip. We have got another tip for next week again, and then we've got other videos coming out through the week. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop us a comment. Uh, if there's anything that we've missed or you want us to cover again, let us know and we'll try our best to do that. Thanks for watching, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.